Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Let's take a look at GarageBand app. It's probably one of the apps that truly um, is better on the iPad because of the touch elements of it. So let's take a little bit of a look. We might start with the smart strings. You can see I'm in instruments at the moment. So when I touch the instrument, it gives me some options. I can just go along with the chords. So here are the chords here. Beautiful touch and response. But at the top right hand corner, you'll also see the notes section where it'll also give me a more realistic instrument where we can go up and down and actually use our fingers to do that instead of the chords. If I click back on the instruments, um, we've got a range of different instruments. For example, smart drums. This works a little bit differently. I, on the right hand side, you'll see a whole lot um, of types of drums or percussion. Um, so for example, if I touch the claps and bring that over, I can also bring over the cymbals and maybe the shaker as well. And what I can basically do is touch those different areas and I can play multiple on my little sound area here. Now I haven't gone through the recording and the playing, but right at the top of the screen, you'll be able to see let me just go back here, you'll be able to see, for example, if I go back to the smart strings, you can see the play and record button at the top. So obviously with students, we want them to be playing, um, composing their own music and doing those different things. Um, I don't have the time to go through all the instruments and all the different levels here. GarageBand is one of the more complex apps that you can do on the iPad, but also one of the... Um, one of the easiest to use for, from a child's perspective as well. I think every music teacher, uh, if you're using iPads in schools, you really do need the GarageBand app. It is a fantastic app. Um, I think it's probably the best app for using the features of the iPad. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.